everybody! So I'm finally doing a review for the Real Littles Shopkins Cutios uh, Mini Mega Mart playset. I've had this hanging out for a while, and I haven't opened it up because I don't know where I'm going to set it up. I feel like once I open it, I'm not going to want to put it away. It says that it, it says, wow, transforming set, uh, over 30 inches wide. This is going to be pretty amazing. This is going to actually put your doubles to use, I think. Uh, it does come with two exclusive Shopkins and mini packs. We'll go ahead and we'll look at the side here. Some of the box art is... The box art for this series is pretty awesome. I'm going to flip this so we can look at the... It's, it's actually pretty heavy, guys. So I'm pretty excited to set this up. Um, let's see. Transforms into the mini Mega Mart. Over 30 inches wide. It shows a little bit of stuff here. Um, exclusive BB, uh, BBQ Pringles and QDO Shopkins and mini packs. So I think we saw them on the side here. BB cute, BB cute Pringle and Cutios. We're gonna go ahead and get this open up and I will be right back. So, in case you guys didn't get the whole thing, is this full of fun, not food? Uh, it looks really like a big box of cereal here. And then on the side of it, it says nutritional facts recommended servings of play per day, five to ten. Servings of fun per package is endless. Um, amount of servings. Uh, we have happiness is 100%. Saturated cute, uh, cuteness, we have 100%. Concentrated fun, we have 95%. And contains vitamins S, P, and K. Get it? Shopkins. S, P, K. Boredism, zero. Uh, f dietary fiber is zero. And um, total awesomeness is 100%. Ingredients. Concentrated cool. Extra sweetness, cuteness, happiness, silliness, made with no artificial friends, contains high dose of fun, warning, once you shop, you can't stop. And then we have uh, three stars down here. We have a plant, a check mark, and another star. Shopkinsworld.com. That is really, really cute. I had to read that to you guys. So let's go ahead and get this opened, however we do open it. It's very hard cardboard. I think it opens... Oh, oh there we go. We got, it, we got it open right off the top here. Uh, yeah, I might have to pause the video for this, because we got some serious stuff going on here and some more plastic. So here is a big wad of pieces to put together that pulls out in a plastic in plastic. Here is our instructions, uh, Mini Mark closing instructions. Mm, oh, it tells you how to, ooh. So it must pop out. That's cool. Uh, Mini, Mini Mark opening instructions. So maybe it is already put together. We'll just have to check this out. Um, let's see. And here is our box for Cutios. You can see that there is apple blossom in the front there with a nice yummy bowl of cereal, which I wish I could have right now, but I have no milk. Cutios, high and fun. And then on the back, oh, oh my goodness, so this is like a mini package of the uh, Shopkins that we just opened. Huh. That's actually really, really cool. So that was a big package, and this is the smaller mini package of that. Here is our Shopkin here, which is just a stack of oversized cereal uh, loops. We got a pink one, a purple one, a yellow one, and a blue one, and the texture on them is are pretty, pretty good. They look like corn, corn puff texture. And here is our grab-and-go size Pringles for barbecue. Looking pretty good, looking just like the original. And BB Cutie. We got a little blob of barbecue sauce on the top here and some nice stack of Pringles going on. He's looking pretty happy. That's nice. I love that. I love the Pringle ones. Okay. I love Pringles in general. So we're going to get this plastic off here. We're going to see how this works. It looks like it's on hinges. Okay, the plastic is gone. We're going to um, just take a look at this. It looks like... Oh, my goodness. All right, so how does this, how does this work? It, you can see that the actual box is molded right into the plastic here. Um, here's a piece up here. That looks like it comes out. Okay. 
Here's a cool one that says sweets, chocolate, candy, lollipop, scum. Uh, hmm. I see some really cool things in here, but I don't know how it pops out. Does the bottom part pop out? Does that part pop out? It looks like we're on hinges, but I can't figure out. Oh, oh boy, I don't know what I did here. Okay, that pops down. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pause this in for a second. Okay, so this is super, super huge. I wasn't aware of how this worked, but apparently it's pop-out. So everything is pretty much attached, uh, except for this piece here uh, that probably should have been attached, but it's not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So I don't know. I don't think anything is supposed to come apart here. It just pops out. But, um, it's so big it won't even really fit on my, <laughs> it won't even really fit on my desk here, but, so we have those that pop up, that's aisle three for breakfast, aisle four for pantry, aisle two for frozen, and aisle three for, uh, dairy. I, I don't know... Are they just supposed to go like that? And then I think maybe this was supposed to be attached over here, and I and I blooped it off somehow. Maybe not. Okay. And then you walk in here to the mini marts, and. Here's some more freezer sections. Is this supposed to be part of that? Is this supposed to go... Uh, I'm so confused. Okay. So here's some more freezer section. Here's our checkout area. Um, whenever it says 1995, which is actually how much the set cost. And, and weird, weird enough. Pop-Tarts, Cheez-Its, Fruit Loops, Popsicles, and Grape Juice for a total of 1995. Not the best deals in the world, I don't think. But uh, we have storage here for some bags. And some more storage over here. This is pretty awesome, but if that's the way it has to be set up, it's going to take up way too much space for me to be able to display. Which bums me out. Uh, it looks like I might be able to get some of them off their joints, maybe? That's just kind of how it folds up and snatches away. But let me just see. Uh... I do really love this. I, I love to pro I would love to actually properly display um, something versus having to uh, put it on a shelf or. But yeah, we have the dairy section, the frozen section, the breakfast section, pantry section, and the sweet section. Excuse me, and even a place to put ice cream. This could actually even help display other Shopkins that you have from other series. I'm actually going to go ahead and get um, Chrissy Puffs and see how the cart fits in with this playset. So I um, added Chrissy Puffs in the center aisle here. So that's just one aisle coming in through the mini mart. And then uh, over here I added some of the other Shopkins that I have from this line. They fit in there pretty well. Um, their general categories. I wonder if they're going to come up with any smaller sets that will fit in with this mini mark. Because uh, we have dairy, we have frozen, we have breakfast, we have pantry, and we have sweets. We don't have any, like, savory snacks, so there really is nowhere to, to put uh, these Pringles. Which I suppose you could put them here. Like, uh, you know, right in the center here. Because, you know, right as she's coming in. Uh, it's, um, I love this set. It's pretty nice. Uh, it's bulky, though. Uh, the idea of it is cool, though, because it is a fold-up set. You can play with it and then fold it up. I am wondering, though, it, can you fold it up with the Shopkins in it? Probably. Uh, we do have a smaller, like, $5.99 cardboard-type uh, collector's uh, set, which we've done a review on already in this channel, uh, that you can put um, Shopkins in as well. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's cool to be able to store it. You kind of have to store it. This is something that you got to play with and put away because it can't really be displayed. Not properly, I don't think. 
I don't know if I have a shelf for this. I'm going to try. <laughs> and if I do find a shelf for this and set everything up, I will do a separate video um, just showing you guys around how I set it up and how it looks um, from the front and behind. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything that's going on behind these. Ah, uh, yeah, it is. They're, the, the, the cereal, it all brings down the show, cereal. So folding it back up, let's see. So folding it back up, you straighten this, put that up here. Uh, oops, I think these are supposed to go down though. Let's be pulled them up, right? So you put that back up here. Uh, put these together. And they have a clips that clip on right up here that together here. That'll keep that up. And then that slides into here. That'll keep that up. And then this guy goes upside down. Pops right into here. And clips right onto that. So there it is. Hold it up. Ready to be played with uh, when you have a chance. So that's actually pretty cool. I do like that it pops out like that. I just, uh, the versatility and being able to display it, I'd love to display it open, but it isn't going to happen for me right now. <laughs> but if you like this video, uh, yeah, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.